Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new winter collection from Suku. So if you don't know, Suku is a Japanese luxury brand. Um, I finally got to try them this summer and completely fell in love. And I bought these when they came out about two weeks ago for my birthday. And I've been really enjoying the product so far, so I really wanna talk about them finally on camera. So this collection was two eyeshadow palettes, two eyeshadow quads, two blushes, two lipsticks, and two liquid eyeshadows. And I bought both of the quads, one of the blushes, and one of the lipsticks, and I definitely have some thoughts. So I'm gonna show you the blush and the lip. Um, in this part of the video, we're going to do a look with each of the palettes and uh, see if this is possibly worth your time and money. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a definite special interest in sparkly indie makeup and high-end and luxury makeup. And I tend to be pretty analytical in the content I make. I just try really hard to make thoughtful, analytical videos for you. And I have new videos every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. <laughs> Okay, so, like I said in the intro, um, I picked up probably about a half of the collection, a little more than half since I bought both of the quads. I've had them for a couple weeks and I have tried all of the products, so I really want to show them on camera in a little more detail. I think I've used them, I've used some of the products on camera, like the blush and the lipstick, but I wanted to make an actual dedicated video. So, I'm gonna, Right now I don't have any blush on or any lipstick or any eyeshadow, so we're gonna do all of those today. And then in a day or two when I have more time, I'll film a look with the other quad so we can see, you can see what they look like on my skin tone if that might be helpful for you. So before we begin, a little info. This is their winter collection. They have started sneak peeking and I've seen some of their holiday collection coming out and it is another two quads, but they're like quads with a highlighter on them. And then it's, um, I think it has some more blushes, some lighter tone blushes, and then three new shades of their Moisture Glaze lipstick, which I have one of and I really, really love, and I want all three of the new ones, but we'll see if I actually can budget to get them. But I've spent a lot of money on like, makeup lately, but really, really, those look really beautiful, but I am very happy I got these. So this is the Winter 2024 collection. Um, like I said, there were two liquid eyeshadows. I didn't pick any of those up. Those were like 30 something dollars, $40. And they looked like they might crease and not wear the best on an oily eyelid like I have. So I didn't want to fork out the money. It's a four, like one of the shades, the Deep Grape looked really beautiful. Really wanted to try it, but just didn't feel like putting my money towards that at the moment. So we'll see, maybe I'll be able to try one of those in the future. Um, and then there were two lipsticks, a more pink one and a more brown warm tone one, so I picked up the warm tone one. Um, there were two blushes, I picked up one of them, one was more pink, one was more brown, and then I picked up both of the quads. So, these are the quads, they're the normal Suku packaging, and then they have the number and information on the back. These retail for about $50, and the lipsticks were, the lipsticks and blush were like 30 something, 40 something each. So not cheap, it is definitely luxury pricing, but it's not like the most expensive luxury pricing. Like it's not Hermes expensive. It's not even like YSL expensive or a lot of Prada, a lot of the other luxury brands. It's, it's luxury, but it's more like affordable than a lot of those, but you do have to pay shipping. So that does get expensive. I bought mine from Selfridges. I did pay for Selfridges Plus, so I have a year of shipping. Shipping, shipping from Selfridges is normally like $30 each time, which is quite a bit. And uh, you can also buy these things at Harrods, although they tend to sh launch at Selfridges first. And I think a few other places like Colt Beauty, but Colt Beauty is more expensive in general and Harrods has also pretty extensive shipping. And for Selfridges, it was either $30 once or like 50 or 60, I think it was $50 for a year of shipping. So I did that. So I have another like 11, 10 months worth of shipping. So I will, I've already gotten my money's worth with reorders, but we'll uh, see how much more I get in the next year. Um, but these are the quads, the typical Suku packaging. And then when you open up, they're both kind of a cool tone color story. They're supposed to be themed around snow and sparkling snow, but you've got one that's more neutral with a nice cool brown, this really beautiful sparkly white, a silver, and this 
really pretty purple shade. I've already worn this one once, really like it, maybe twice. And then the one that I'm gonna probably wear tonight is the more blue one. So it's kind of blue green. So this is a little bit more of a green on the mat, but this is definitely more blue in the deep shade. Really pretty, really like this formula. It is already one of my favorite formulas after only having tried them in July. <laughs> um, but I now have five of these squads and I already want more, so. Um, but before we get into those, let's go, I'm gonna do my blush and lips since I'm not wearing those. Right now, I'm just wearing the makeup I wore to work, um, which is my Lisa Eldred skin tint, just kind of like here when I needed coverage. A Little bit of my Surat brow gel, a little bit of the Mario liquid bronzer on the cheeks. And then I put a little bit of Kosas concealer on and powdered before I got in. So the blush that came out uh, with this collection is the blushes that came out with this is part are part of their blurring color blush, which launched actually the summer while I was in Europe. So I got to see them and buy some before I left. Um, and I did buy one while I was in Europe, which is a very similar shade, but definitely different. Um, and this is the shade 05. This is from the original launch. And you can tell it's a permanent one because it is a two digit number, so 05. You can see it's like a pink with a hint of brown, and you can see a little bit more of the brown here, a little bit more of the pink there. And then this is 103, which is very similar, but just even more brown. So you can see it's a little darker, a little more brown. They look very similar. And I was hesitant, but when I saw people use this, like Alicia Archer, um, she swatched them side by side, and I was like, okay, it's definitely more brown, and I definitely need it, because this definitely is pink on me like a brownie warmer pink but it's still you can see the little bit of that tone up there but it is still very pink and this is just a little darker just a little more brown really love this I would love like an even more brown version of this like some terracotta e-tones would be really pretty but you can see next to uh, a very warm brown like this house labs blush which is like you know a peachy brown terracotta, you can see this looks very pink in comparison. Um, but it is really beautiful, so I'm going to put that on since I don't have any blush on right now. Um, like I said, I have the Mario bronzer a little bit right here, and then a little bit of my Surratt highlighter as well, because I like to put highlighter under blush. So I'm going to pick it up with this rougher brush, and you can see it picks up nicely. It's a really beautiful formula, and when you pick it up on the white, you can see how it is a little bit more red-brown. It looks a little more cool tone pink in pan, but a little bit less on the brush. And then I'm gonna sweep that on. And it's a very natural blush. I really like the color. I've been wearing it a lot. Like it's been kind of my everyday blush. It is. I think with the whole theme of snow, um, this is kind of, the two blushes I think are kind of like the I've been out in the cold blush, but the other one is for very pale skin and this one's for slightly darker skin. I think there could be like one more darker one, but I think this one should work on a lot of people because I went in with a very light layer. You can definitely build it up. But you can see that, I think they call it like sepia brown pink and you can definitely see that. It's so pretty. Really like this blush formula. Really happy to have a second one. And I think there's some, there might be an orangey one in the, the new um, holiday launch, which is very tempting. <clears throat> okay, and now so for lips before we get into eyes, there were two liquid lipsticks that came out with this. Um, they were both in the Fluid Glow formula, which I had not tried. The only thing I had before was the Moisture Glaze, which I really love. It is, just like a perfect everyday, kind of my lips of a better shade. And then this is the new uh, limited edition shade in 109, which is kind of a warm yellowy brown. And then while I was buying stuff, I also threw in one of their Fluid Fogs in 07, which is permanent one and a little bit more matte, although it's not very matte, it's like the perfect lip. I did wear this today at work. It's a little bit more chocolatey brown. I can wear that in the second look. Um, but for this one, I do want to try this on and show you. I do really like this. Nice paddle. Applicator. And then it is 
such a pretty shade. It's a nice warm brown, but kind of a, yeah, like a ready orange brown. The other shade looked very pink, which is why I skipped it. I was a little hesitant to buy this because it's kind of like, I was worried it would be like a really opaque liquid gloss, which I have opaque li lip glosses and I don't like that. I like an opaque lip, but something about being like sticky and transfer prone and pigmented is just not my favorite formula. But this is definitely not a gloss, but it's not really a, a typical liquid lipstick either. It's kind of a hybrid. It's very soft on the lips. It does last really well. Um, it's just a really pretty everyday kind of shade. And then I think it looks really nice with lip liner. I will do that in a minute. And then yeah, it can be sheared out or built up. It's kind of like a gloss, kind of like a hydrating satin lipstick, I would say. A little bit more glow, but kind of the texture of a satin lipstick versus a gloss. And then the matte is definitely more like, like a moussey velvet versus like matte matte. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of lip liner and then we'll get into the eye look. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of 1N from Lisa Eldridge, nice neutral kind of sculpting shade. Okay, really like that. You could go with a darker lip liner if you wanted, but I really like the shade. It adds just a little bit of definition without being too much. So like I said, there are two quads in this. This is the quad 142, which I will use in another, uh, I will use later in the video. And this is 143, which so pretty. As soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. And I did want to point out, compared to the fall collection, you can really see just how cool toned these are. So this is it next to the cooler of the fall collection. This looks very warm in comparison. So this is definitely a cool tone, which is something I've been gravitating towards lately. I did order the new Makeup by Mario palette today, and that'll be here in a couple days, so I will have a video up on that probably next week, if that is something you're also interested in, cool tone-wise. So I'm gonna take my cardigan off. I'm getting a little warm under my lights because it is the end of the day. Um, uh, and I'm gonna go in with the rougher one. Probably just use this one brush for everything. You can use the brushes here, and they are nice quality of one that's a brush and one that's more of a sponge, but I prefer a real brush. Um, and you can definitely start with the matte and build up some depth. I like to start with the darker shade in this. So I'm gonna so. pick up that dark shade on this. I like that it's fluffy, but also has a flat side. And you can see where I already had picked up some before. These are really beautiful and it's just my favorite kind of tone of blue, kind of like a slightly more blue version of my shirt. And I'm gonna put that on the lid. I already have a little bit of my NARS eyeshadow base down. And I'm gonna pat that right here. If you don't want it this dark, I would definitely start with a lighter shade or use a really fluffy brush. You can definitely fluff this out and sheer it. But I really, like the tone of this. And you can see as I turn the brush sideways and buff the edges, it does sheer out really nicely. So you can do, I'll kind of sheer it out by blending away a little. You can do a sheer wash, but it makes a really nice, almost one and done look. I really like this kind of dark denim. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the matte shade on the tip of that brush. I'm gonna run that into the crease to buff the edges a little bit more. You can also obviously start with this shade. But I really wanted maximum opacity with the dark shade. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the mid shade here on the same brush and I'm gonna put it kind of on the lid but only in the center. It's just gonna brighten it up a little bit, add a little dimension. You can see it's a little more blue, a little more blue teal. You definitely have to like 
blues or greens with this. I mean, on a different undertone, these might look a little bit more green, but on my olive undertone, these are just straight up blue. And then, again, using the same brush, I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm gonna pick up the topper shade, which these shades are always just basically sparkle. Um, and I'm gonna lightly wipe that all over. You can also use your finger. And this, I see where they're talking about like sparkling snow. This just adds the prettiest wash of sparkle. And then if I use my finger, you can see it's like that blue iridescent, but there's no base pigment. It's just the sparkle in these shades. And I'm just gonna tap that up here as well. I really, I really like this. And obviously you can go a little more dem demure or tame if you avoid the dark shade or build up to it. You just put it on like the outer part of your lid. But I, I really like a blue smoky eye. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the other eye and add my mascara and I'll be right back. So I'm back and this is the finished first look. I really like it. I've done this similar look before. I did wanna do some swatches real quick also because um, I meant to do that before, but it's been a long day. Um, really like it. It's very smoky, steel blue, slate blue kind of vibes. And if you don't want the sparkle up here, you can really keep it down. I just really wanted some sparkle up there today. I also added a little bit of the topper shade on the inner part of the corner and inner part of the lid. And yeah, and then I just put my Lucille Aldrich mascara on. I really like this look. This is the second time I've done something similar. You can get a little bit more a little less satin, a little more shine and brightness if you use this one all over the lid instead of just in the center, but I like the way all four really melt together. Okay, um, so this is the topper shade. Like I said, the top one here is always basically suspended sparkle. And then here is the matte, very silky, like, like a light mint teal. And we've got the mid shade here, really pretty kind of teal blue shimmer. You can see there's lots of micro sparkle in there. And then the dark shade, a little bit more satin, but definitely has lots of sparkle in there too, which you can see in the right lighting. So here is the top shade. So it's like almost white but really reflective blue sparkle. I think it works. I like it up here. Um, I think this would look better on a lighter skin tone or a really bright contrast color on a darker skin tone. On mine, I prefer it on the lid, but it's pretty up there. Sheared out, you just see that shine. Um, and then here is the matte, just very silky, a little light, but really pretty. It's definitely for me just a buffing out shade. The mid-tone shade, you can see that very shiny metallic in comparison. But you can see all of that tiny sparkle in there. So pretty. I see lots of, I see blue, teal, gold, yellow, really pretty. And then the darkest shade, I'll do a second swatch of that you can see how it's it's got sparkle and it looks pretty sparkly in the pan, but it is definitely a little more satin. And I really like that about it. <laughs> see, there's definitely a sheen there and you can see it on my lid too, but it's so pretty. I think my favorite is the dark shade, but I just think it's a very nice little curated cool tone quad. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go about the rest of my night, and then in a day or two when I have more time, I will film another look with that, and so I will see you all for that look in a minute. Okay, so it's time for the second look with the other quad. Uh, like I said at the beginning, this is the number 142, the other was 143. Um, and this is a decidedly like neutral, kind of cool leaning palette. I've worn this a couple times, really love it. This shade especially is very much the twinkle of snow, love that. Um, I do have a clip of this 
from the other day that I can include as well, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a look, quick look with this so you can see. Um, before I do the look, I'm going to do the swatches since I forgot to do the swatches until the end of the other look. Um, so the first shade is the matte. I'll do that one first. See, it's a nice cool brown, perfect kind of cool tone brown for me. Um, the sparkly shade up here in the corner is just like almost white, but like there's a bit of taupe to it in person. And there's this kind of plummy shade, which I love. Satin, really pretty, just really beautiful. And then there's this one that looks silver in the pan. But then when you swatch it, you can see it's more gray gunmetal. So it's a little bit more metallic than the purple, a little bit more sparkly, really pretty. I will probably use all four again today. So there is the matte. Really like that. Here is the sparkly shade. So you can see there's really no base and then just that shine. So if you really rub it in, it does give a really nice wet effect. I did a look the other day with the matte, the purple plummy tone, and this, and I will include that in a little bit. And here's the satin purple, really beautiful. And these two together make kind of just a purple brown, which is just really lovely. You can see how it's a little more satin. And then the gray, I'll put it up here just because I didn't leave room. It's a really uneven swatch. <laughs> um, but you can see it's a little more metallic, a little more shiny, a little bit more sparkle in the purple, but not as twinkly as the, uh, that's what I get for trying to swatch with my pinky. Um, not as twinkly as the actual sparkle shade. I think I'm gonna use all four today so you can kind of see what that looks like compared to the one where I didn't use the gray at all. So I'm gonna walk. So my base makeup is basically the same as the other day. It's what I wore to work today. I just used my Lee Seldridge Skin Tint and I've used a little bit of my Victoria Beckham blush and the Lee Seldridge highlighter this morning, brow gel, and that was it. And then I just added a little bit of concealer where I needed some spot concealing and I put on the Suka blush again and this lip. Um, so pretty basic, a little bit of my Surat bronzer as well. Um, and I already primed my eyelids. So you can definitely go in with the shade first. Um, I think I'm gonna do a light wash of the brown first so you can kind of see what that looks like. And this is the brush I used the other day as well. Just a rougher one. I have like six of these, my go-to. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit out here because that's where I'm gonna want the most pigment. And I will zoom you in a little. And then I'm just gonna buff it. And I've really grown to love the Suku shades because they're not, they're, I think, a slurry formula, kind of like Surat's. They're very soft, at least those do. The, the matte, I'm not 100% sure on, but you can see, you can get, you can manipulate it. If you do a wash, you can get a really nice, um, fluffy wash of color. But you can also use your finger or a dense brush and really get a good amount of pigment. I'm just kind of buffing this all over lightly after I get it on the outer corner. And you can even just, you know, if you wanted an all matte look, this is a really nice everyday kind of matte look. And then you could like bring this with and add some sparkle if you wanted. But I'm gonna put a little bit of the purple down, same brush. And you can see there is a nice sheen to it, but it's not quite a metallic, especially with this brush. And I think these two blend together really nicely. I think I did the brown all over the lid and then this in the look that I'll include in a minute. But really beautiful. This has been like, I've done this basic look a couple times. I just really like the way this looks. This is kind of what I wanted this for. I thought nice sparkly topper, everyday kind of satin, and a nice brown. I really like this. And then if I take this is basically, I did this with a little bit of the sparkly shade on top the other day and I'll include that. But I do wanna show you a little bit of the gunmetal. You could go in with just the gunmetal if you want it to be a little bit more gray, like the gray and the brown. Do a really nice smoky eye with that. But if you want it to just tone this down 
like sat like make this a little darker and smokier without being the predominant color putting a little bit on top of the purple it's just really pretty it adds a little bit more shine makes it a little bit cooler and smoky and it's it's just so pretty just again using the same brush for everything I'm just gonna put a little bit more down and if you want it all gray, I would just skip the purple, but I really like the way the two melt together. So there's kind of like a purpley brown tone underneath with that gray. And then you could obviously, again, leave it like this. This could be the look, but then if you want a little sparkle, pick that up with your finger or the brush and then tap it over. putting most in the inner, and it just adds, doesn't take away from it. And because it has no base pigment, it really blends into whatever you're putting down before, so it's making it look even more gray now. And with the purple, it doesn't do that because it's just purple. And then what's left on my finger, I'm just brushing up here as kind of that wet shine. Okay, I'm gonna repeat this on the other eye and I'll be, and put mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I just repeated this on the other eye, added some of my Lee Seldridge mascara and it's all done. You could obviously add eyeliner. You could put a little bit of the brown underneath the eyes if you wanted to, but I really like the way this looks as is. Um, really happy with the way this turned out. It's basically similar to what I've done the other days before it, but I like the addition of the gray. I was a little worried it would be too silver at first, but it's really not, it's really pretty. And I think once these kind of sit on your skin a little bit longer, they look even better. Like a little bit of the sparkle might fade a little bit over the, like halfway through the day, but also like the, the wet sheen effect kind of like amplifies as you wear them. And you can see even in the last couple minutes, it's just kind of melted into the skin really nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna, Zoom back out, we can uh, talk about final thoughts, see if this is maybe worth your money, and uh, that'll be it. Okay, so before I get into final thoughts, I did want to include that little clip. Also, you can see Bean is sleeping right over there on the couch. Um, so I've worn this a couple times, but I actually took some clips the other day at work um, and on my way home so you can kind of see what this looked like, I think, on my way to work. And then as I was leaving work, eight and a half hours later. Um, really like the way it looked. That was just the first three shades without the, the gray. Really like the way it looks. And yeah, I think some of the sparkle kind of faded throughout the day, but it still just looked really effortless. Um, the formulas are so refined. I think it just kind of melted into the skin even better. Didn't crease or anything, just looked beautiful. Um, and I did use the Phoebe liquid eyeshadow from Lisa Elbridge both today and that day. Um, but I've also used this with the NARS eyeshadow base. I think it works well with both. So final thoughts about the collection. I am, do not regret buying any of this. And I think this could be worth your money depending on the shipping and your budget and stuff, depending on what you're looking for. So starting off with the lip, just because I have it on and it's easy. I really like this. So like I said, this is the shade 109 and this is in the, uh, moisture, no, not moisture glaze. Uh, I forget the full name, but it's the fluid glow formula. Um, it is really nice. It is not, I was worried it would be like a liquid, um, like a lip gloss, like a really pigmented lip gloss, like some of the ones I tried from some mainstream bands. Trixie Cosmetics has some, I really like their like mere sheer to medium ones from Trixie Cosmetics amazing formula, but like a really opaque pigmented one, like the one from Kimchi Cosmetics. I didn't like those because it's like a liquid lipstick opacity, but doesn't set. So it just gets on everything. <laughs> and I am always drinking something. Um, and it just, it's just not a feeling I like. It feels kind of heavy. This doesn't feel heavy. This feels very hydrating and just kind of like nothing. Like I forget I'm wearing it and it does last really well. I've worn it at work and even with eating, it was still pretty much there. It was like faded, but it's there. It does transfer like I'm drinking some wine and you can see there's a little bit, but not that much. It's really beautiful. I like this formula. I would be willing to pick up 
more shades of this if they are the right shade. This is definitely something I'd want in more of a brown nude kind of formula from myself, but I do know they have some colorful ones. I feel like a bright orange might be nice, but um, obviously not part of this collection, but the Fluid Fog is definitely something I want more of, kind of like the Moisture Relays. I know this the holiday collection was just sneak peeked, and there's gonna be more of these. I want so many of these, like just the permanent line, I want like four more of these, and I want all three of the holiday ones. Uh, we'll see if I can get them. Um, uh, but, you know, maybe one day I'll be on the Suku uh, PR list and I can get some more of them that way too. But this is already top tier lipstick up there with like Lisa Eldridge and some other, and the Hermes. Like this is amazing. Um, the Fluid Fog, the, I've tried other versions of that like matte, but not like matte matte lipstick. Like the Lip Clays from Kaleidos and Lethal Cosmetics has something that's kind of similar and I think MAC does as well. This is the best version of them, the Fluid Fog. Uh, like I said, I have the shade 07 and you can see it's a little bit more brown, like a little less warm brown, a little bit like more chocolate brown. Um, impeccable formula. I might've been wearing this in those clips. Um, love this, want more colors of this. This is amazing. It lasts for a very long time. Even with eating, I ate lunch with this. I had like dal and rice and this was still on afterwards. Impeccable formula. So if I had to pick, I would pick more of the Fluid Fog, but I do really like the Fluid Glow. And if you don't like anything relatively matte or satin matte, the Fluid Glow is definitely your best bet. And then for the new shade in the blurring, um, Blurring Color Blush. So obviously I didn't buy the pinky one, but it's a really beautiful formula. And if you were looking at this shade in particular, I think this is really beautiful. You can see it on my cheeks again today. You can build it up even more than this if you want more color. This is a very light dusting of it. And you can kind of customize it if you want a little bit more of the lighter shade or the darker shade or do what I do and just kind of go throughout both. But I think it's beautiful. It melts into the skin nicely. I like it not as much as the Melting Blush from Suku, but this is a really beautiful blush formula. One of the best powder blushes I've ever used. It is like $40, but it's it's just a really beautiful blush, especially if you're in the UK or can get it easily and you don't have to pay for like international shipping. I think highly suggest checking out these. And I just realized I have a hair or something right here. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then the quads. I really like both of these. I have zero regrets buying them. They, like I said, they retail for about $50 uh, each. And I think for the formula and the quality, totally worth it if you find one that speaks to you. I'm really glad I got both. I'm definitely gonna use this one more. This one I do really like, especially for this, the bottom two shades. That's kind of what I bought it for. I like all four, really happy I got this. I love, blues and I love teals, so, and greens. So like, this is great. Um, and this is a really nice, especially if you just stick with the darker shade and like maybe put bronzer down first and then just use this, it would be a really nice kind of wearable slate blue. Really happy I got this. Like I said, this is 143. And it definitely goes with the vibe of like ice and snow. And then I think this is just one of the most beautiful, elegant, neutral quads I've ever seen, and I'm really happy I bought this. This is the standout for me. This is in top contender for like top five things I've tried this year. Um, really love this dark brown. You can shear it out, you can build it up. Love the sparkly shade. It might look a little icy on some darker skin tones, but it doesn't really have a base pigment, so it's just this kind of taupey champagne sparkle. And you can just see now that it's melted in, even in person, it's just so pretty, just that beautiful wet sheen. And then I really like both of these, the more satin and the slightly more shimmery shade, especially blended together. I have zero regrets, really love this. So I think trying Suku, it is definitely, now that these are my, these are my fourth and fifth quads from Suku, and I swatched some other ones when I was in Europe, I think, it is, if you like a buildable, really silky, really easily blendable formula, you don't want 
the most sparkle. Like, obviously you can get some sparkle, but it's not gonna be an indie sparkle. It's not even gonna be as sparkly as like my Chantecaille baked shadows. It's a little bit more refined and elegant. These look really beautiful in low light, especially you see that twinkle. I think it's a really elegant formula. I know my friend Steven, Steven Fortitude on Instagram, Steven Ford, maybe Steven Fortitude on here. They haven't posted in a while. They also got this second quad. Really excited to see what they think about it because this will be their first time trying the brand. But I just think it's it's really beautiful. And I really, I'm really happy I bought all of these things, even the extra <laughs> lipstick that I picked up. Um, I think by this point, because they've been out for a couple weeks, um, it, they are now at Selfridges, Harrods, Cult Beauty, and Liberty. Um, so they all have different shipping and different things. So I would check those out if you're interested. I will have everything linked down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you thinking about picking these up? Did you want them? Have you been interested in trying Suku? I'd love to hear your thoughts and talk to you in the comments, like always. It's one of my favorite things about having the channel is talking, not only trying things, but talking to people in the comments. Um, so let me know what you think of the two quads, all of the products, and I'll talk to you all. I like to talk to you all in the comments. Um, also, before I forget, we finally celebrated my belated birthday. I don't think I've shown this on camera yet because everyone was sick for my birthday. Except for me, <laughs> I was taking care of everyone. But my birthday present from my husband came and it's this hoodie. I've been wearing it a lot. Really, really love it. Um, so I just had to shut that off. Okay, so that is everything. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will talk to you all later. As always, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. And remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I will see you all in my next video.